The film in which you are about to see is an account of the disaster in which befell six British cave divers in Mexico. In March of 2004, a group of British cave explorers belonging to the Combined Services Caving Association out of the United Kingdom were cave diving in the El Pasic cave system located in Puebla, Mexico which is located right here. All 12 men of this journey were of prior military service, even with some civilian scientists coming along for the trip. Destination of their journey, you ask? Well, in their own words, it's an official military expedition to support adventurous training and to help map out and explore more of the cave system. And on the first dive down, it was decided that only six of the 12 men would go. And of the 12 who went, it would be Chris Mitchell, Jonathan Sims, Charles Milton, Simon Cornhill, John Rowe and Toby Hamnett that would take the first dive. For about the first 90 feet or 27 meters, the men were doing pretty good crawling through what was a tight but at least dry part of the cave system. But before they even had the chance to get ready, a freak thunderstorm had rolled in and before they knew it, the main cave entrance was getting flooded and the first 90 feet or 27 meters became so flooded that it actually became a small river that slowly grew into a lake and before they knew it the cave system was completely flooded with a small lake blocking the entrance lucky for them though they were able to find a ledge that was about 15 feet or 4 meters off the ground meaning that they would not die from hypothermia or drowning and they were actually pretty well provisioned with instant meals like pasta and cheese with cake some of the men even had water powered lights and would go as far as making a full deck of cards which would come in handy as they would become stuck for the next eight days straight. Though this is where our story starts to get a little weird. As soon as the local Mexican government found out about the situation, they were quick to spring into action. There was only one problem though. The men didn't want their help. Instead, they opted to be saved by professional British cave divers, Richard Stanton and Jason Millinson from the cave rescue organization. As soon as the local population and media heard of the situation and the refusal to receive help, the news station started to speculate that the men were there for an entirely different type of military operation. You see, according to the local government, the Alpazic cave system could have random radon and uranium deposits just like found elsewhere around the land. And if used in just the right way, as we all know, radon and uranium mineral deposits could be used to fashion a bomb. The then Mexican president Vicente Fox asked his ambassador in London to seek a detailed, clear, and rapid explanation from the British government of what the military personnel and scientists were actually doing in the country without letting the Mexican government aware of their actions in the first place. Meanwhile, around the same time, the rescue team consisting of Richard Stanton and Jason Millinson finally were able to make their way to the cave system. And luckily, because there are no major disturbances to the rock formations, they were able to swim the altogether 980 feet or 300 meters of flooded cave system in order to get to the six trapped men who at this point had been stuck for up to about eight days in total as soon as they got there they were able to outfit all six men with scuba gear and with a very quick impromptu lesson in cave diving they all started to traverse their way back to the cave entrance and luckily all six men including both of the rescuers were able to make it out alive the local government were then able to take the men to a military hospital and then eventually to a detention center located in mexico city while they were there a visa investigation was conducted as the local authorities believed they violated the terms of their visas by participating in scientific or military activities while cave diving in the mexican cave system Luckily though, all 12 men were found not guilty and were able to go back to their homes in the UK. Kate Wilson, the spokesperson for the British Defense Ministry, stated in an interview that first and foremost, the men were a part of a club that practiced mapping out cave systems. She then stated that there had been similar trips to the different Mexican caves for at least the better half of two decades. She then closed by saying, the men only declined help from the Mexican locals because they were in a dry, safe, and fine environment. And on top of that, they were able to keep constant radio contact with the rest of the group on the outside of the cave system. So they didn't want to disturb the local community and cause an uproar. I don't know though, now that you have all the facts, what do you think? Was it a top secret British mission? Or were these just your everyday run of the mill spelunkers who just got really unlucky? You decide. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for future content. Goodbye for now.